Hi. I haven't been here. I was just busy yesterday. You know, I got in the zone and I was like plugging away and stuff done and same thing this morning. So I'm going to eat lunch and then head out. We're making more progress on the place. So I'm going over there after that, but I was just working on some stuff. So let me give you some content for today since I have nothing. Um, diastasis recti. Remember that it doesn't matter if you have a gap or it's not really a gap, it's a laxity. It's like a stretched tissue at the midline. That doesn't matter. It's what you do with it, you know? So I wanted to show you on me and I've done this before and I'll reshare another video, but I have a diastasis. Woo, I'm gonna make you dizzy. If I don't exhale and I just curl up, watch my midline. Watch how springy and wide it is. Okay, now if I exhale, and then I curl up. Oh, look, look how much better that one is. This one's still a little bit deeper at my belly button, but it's not as deep, it's still wide, but it's fine because I have way more tension generated there and much better there as well. So with diastasis, remember it is the depth and what the depth feels like. So my first one without activation is springy and soft. That means we're not generating tension across the midline. Um, but then I'm able to generate tension when I exhale and contract my core and it's not soft and springy and it's not as deep and it's better in all of those ways, which means I'm generating tension to control that so I don't push pressure out at my bit line. And those are the most, most important things to consider with diastasis and I cannot talk today.